fish tank fans. Hey, uh, it's Friday night. I'm just doing a little bit of work on the fish room here. And what I'm about to do is um, I've been growing out a bunch of different fish and um, I'm going to be adding them to the 125. 125 here has a nice size, I don't know, there's about 10 large uh, variety of different uh, large cichlids in here. And it just needs a few more. And what I, everybody says, and I know what you want, you want to add a bunch of different cichlids at one time. I previously added one at a time and it didn't really work out so well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I have uh, a couple of a couple of my tanks right here. I just kind of emptied it out, took all the rocks out. And in this particular tank, uh, I have four Mimpibwe uh, frontosas that I'm going to take out and add them to the 125. I'm also going to have, I also have a super red empress that I've been growing out here on the bottom tank. You can't see him because he's hiding. And also, what's interesting here is what I've been doing is scooping out some of the fish as they, as I see, spot the males and put them in, put them in this tank here for a mini all male tank. Uh, it's all males with the exception of the dragon blood group that's in there. And I'm probably going to scoop out the uh, yellow blaze as you can see he's just gorgeous. I'm going to brew him from Fry from his dad. Uh, I got what else I have in here? Blue neon. I have a flame tail. I have a Taiwan reef, and I have my super red empress male that uh, uh, is just one of my favorite fish. And I'm going to be working to collect all these fish in a bucket, and then I will uh, add them all simultaneously to the tank, uh, so we have less aggression and spread it out. Hey guys, I just spent the last hour tearing apart my fish room, reorganizing a bunch of fish, moving them around. And what I did, one of the reasons why I did that was to uh, put all of the fish that I'm going to be dumping in this large tank, uh, 125. But I, I'm going to show you what I got in here. And it's going to be a little bit hard to see it, but I'll explain it. I've got four Mimpibwe F1 Frontosis. I have a super red empress male and a yellow blaze. All of these guys I have uh, basically grown from almost fry. The uh, Mimpibwes I got when they were about an inch and a half. So here we go. I'm going to see if I can show it to you live. I'm going to dump them in on the corner and uh, I'm going to see if I can get a nice close up of what I'm going to do here and see how everybody else reacts. to see if I can get a good angle for you. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you can see me or see what I'm gonna do here, but I'm just gonna scoop, scoop up as many as I can at once. I've got uh, three front toasters and the yellow blaze. Here they go. And then I'm gonna get the last front toaster and the super red. We got them both. And here they go. Look at this. It's a beautiful super red male. Young uh, adult. Okay. Close it up and we'll see if I can give you some a better shot of what's happening. Looks like uh, the smallest frontosa in there but I believe I have two males and two females out of the frontosas. Everybody's kind of like saying what's going on so I'm going to drop some food in there right now. See if uh, we can distract them a little bit. There we go. I don't see any uh, rapid chasing yet, but we'll see. And everybody's starting to eat, which is uh, fantastic. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll give you guys an update uh, tomorrow. Good night. 
and fix check his hands. Hey, it's a day later, um, 24 hours or so since I dropped in all of the uh, six new fish, the four uh, F1 Mimpibwe Prentosas, the Super Red Empress, and the uh, Yellow Blaze, which I've grown mostly all from the fry. So let me just kind of give you a, uh, a zoom in, see how everybody's doing. Everybody's just doing great. Look at that. There's one of the frontosas just swimming around. Super Red Empress is way up top. That's the current from the Aqua Clear 110. You can see. Oh, look at it. He's just doing great. And I saw the. Uh, There's another one of the frontosas, two of the frontosas. So the yellow blaze hiding in the rock just where he likes. There's my Eureka Red, which is third generation, also grown from fry. Kind of give you a little a little tour here. Some of the other uh, absolutely gorgeous fish I have here. Look at this guy. Red friend Borlei, he's about nine inches long. Uh, that is a banga, yellow banga. And here is a zebra oblique, and he's also about nine inches long. Let's see if I can give you a quick zoom in on my giant synodonis. I'm going to move the camera because he likes to hang out right in here and here he is look at this I don't know if you can see him there he's also about 10 inches long he's just sitting there looking at you I don't know if you can see him he just likes to hang uh, the other one other fish I want to make you give you guys a quick tour of here is the blue ahi he's about also 10 inches and of course here he is coming out my monster williams eye blue lip he's the boss of the tank and you can see his blue lips he, he must weigh a pound who else i want to show you here the dragon blood this guy is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Care of the Rasta man. Anyway, I just want to kind of wrap it up, give you a, a tour of the 125. Again, everything is going great. Remember to comment, subscribe, and 